yeah, we're on to the final one. I can't mm-hmm. believe it. Five years later, mm-hmm. a big journey for you, I guess, because when you started, you could probably get all the sleep in the world that you wanted. Yes. And then between <laughs> the release of Scorch Trials and this one, you became a mum. Mm-hmm. Did that make a big difference on, on this final film at all? It, it did. I mean, practically, you know, there's a lot more suitcases to take um, and I'm exhausted a lot more, but... You know, I'm fortunate I have a husband who's a, an amazing co-parent and he came out with a baby to Africa and they were there the whole time. So I had him and I'd breastfeed him in the morning in the makeup chair while I was getting ready and then see him, he'd, he had his own trailer. No which I'm worried he's now going to be a bit of a, you know, he thinks racing, he's a bit big for his boots. Diva son. Yeah, he's already got his own trailer. <laughs> uh, but it's nice, he kind of just became part of our, our Maze Runner family. Oh, were any of the others on set a bit broody when you when you? Well, one him? of the other boys has a daughter as well. Oh. Ki Hong has a daughter. So they, they and they they were born a week apart, I think. So oh, they were like little buddies. That was good. So looking back then, over the last five years, have you got a particular highlight at all that's going to stick in your mind? I think the very first summer, you know, we all just had such an amazing time. There was no pressure. We didn't know if the film was going to be a success or not. And we were kind of just taking every moment for what it was and just enjoying the experience. And it was most of our first, you know, big movie. And, and we made friendships out of it that we'll never forget. Have you got a film trilogy that you particularly hold dear to you, like other people hold this one dear to them? Well, that's a nice one. Um... I mean, I grew up with the Harry Potter films. That was kind of like yeah. of my generation. And I, I always loved and I was always excited about seeing what was going to be the next one. Mm. Um, and the Terminator movies, but maybe not the third, yeah. maybe just the first two. <laughs> I think most people yeah. would agree with you on that one. And I'm going to touch very quickly on the whole Me Too movement mm-hmm. at the moment because it's such a big thing. And I know that you yourself have spoken out about mm-hmm. it. Do you think it was just, it was the right time and it, you're so, do you feel relief that you can kind of talk yeah. about these things now? I really do and it was very unexpected for me. I, it's something that I'd kept for 12 years and uh, had had many ups and downs with and didn't quite understand. And I was just moved by the bravery of the women that had come before me. Um, And I really believed in the message of Me Too showing the world that this can happen to everyone around us, that this isn't, you know, a one in a million thing. Unfortunately, it's very, very common. And if I'd had an actress that I'd admired when I was younger, I maybe would have dealt with it a lot better. And I maybe wouldn't have felt so insecure and uh, and so conflicted about it. Um, So I thought, you know, if I could give that to one person in the world, maybe, then it'll be worth it. And I'm really, really glad I did. And I've had incredible support, you know, from all the boys and from everyone that I know. And they've kind of come out and really supported me. And I'm, I'm very relieved that I did. No, I'm glad there's been a change. I hope yeah. that it just puts a stop to all mm-hmm. of this now. Um, lovely to chat to you, Kaya. Lovely to see you again. And um, good luck with the film. Cause Thank you. It wraps it up very well. Thank you. <laughs> to look, you know, simple when you can look stunning. I'm really sorry, we're very drunk, but we don't give a <laughs> Hey, girl! No, she, she ain't hear me, she ain't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? I'm not sure.